everybody. Welcome to another Ride Along with Goggles and Cab Over Monday. <laughs> Got the revised uh, Hell Creek hay and feed skin here. I've changed it up a little bit. Made the stripe across the side not as wide. It used to go down to the bottom of the door. But I moved it up and um, that's about it. I changed the unit number. <laughs> Recon thought I should make it the uh, area code of uh, Montana. Would be cool. And I made it 409 instead of 406. <laughs> so I got to fix that. Other than that, I think this skin's pretty good. I did a Hell Creek Hay and Feed with the bulk feed tanker. But with the, even with that mod that the fellow made uh, to paint the bulk tanker, sorry, <clears throat> it still uh, comes out glossy. And he says in his mod that that's so. So I got to look at that a little bit. Maybe... Look at how I'm painting the accessories again, too. So I'd like to uh, make sure I've got that going right. But, yeah, I've got mud flaps and whatnot, so it's all looking pretty cool. Anyway, um, we are in Plainville. So let's see if we can zoom out a bit. Oh, I don't have the long-distance cam here. Uh, let's look at the map. Here we are, just south of Phillipsburg. So this used to be just called Phillipsburg. And we are heading all the way up to uh, Alliance, to Flavor Fair. So let's get on with it. It's 333 miles, but uh, tends to be a bit of darting around. Uh, as in, you know, slowing down for 90 degrees and stop signs. and So I guess we got to, hey, it'd be cool if we could just drive up the hill. We should try that. What the heck? What, what we got to lose? We might hit something. <laughs> Let's try it. See if we can just uh, get on up the hill. It is kind of heavy. 52,761. Is there a fence up there? Oh, there's a fence. Oh, yeah. Let's not do that. Oh boy, big understeer. It's pretty slippery out here. So it'd be cool if the tanks are really paintable, but uh, like the fuel tanks are. But yeah, I really liking this little day cab. We've got Slav Jerry's uh, C12 in here. Gotta remember on the downshifts with this one, it's the throttle revs up really quick, or the engine revs up really quick on a little top of the throttle. You gotta kind of concentrate, not hitting the throttle too hard on the downshifts. See if we can remember. Get into it by the end of the video. <laughs> oh, jeez. a great place to take a photo right here. I think I'll do that. I'm 
sure it's a tall trailer. Let me read on her butt here. So I was going to do some trucking today, and this is it. <laughs> Making a video as usual. Uh, I really wanted to just do that, and then I thought, uh, oh shoot, I might as well get after this skin. Uh, for the truck, and uh, it didn't take too awful long. It wasn't bad, but I did the uh, the front teardrops. I kind of redrew it, and then I got carried away with that. And Turn left. So then, uh, what I did after that, oh, Kings Kings County, I made a. Uh, skin for the SCS Hopper trailer. Now I just had to make a, an adjustment on that. I haven't even checked it yet. Maybe, let's see, what's the time? We'll look and see how we're doing for time. And we'll get a look at that too. And then I made this. <laughs> so, oh geez. I was going to just be happy doing the hopper bottom as in the video. And then I thought, uh, well darn it all. We've been driving a bunch of hopper bottoms, as much fun as they are in getting the dynamic load and unload. Keep right. After 50 yards, turn right. Oh shoot, we're following this guy. Turn right. Oh, it's Polly. <laughs> That's who I got driving that one. I should look and see who uh, I've got driving all those trucks and then look at my patron list because I was making it uh, patrons and I should check to make sure everybody's driving is still a, you know, a patron or whatever on the AI trucks and then I've got more AI trucks to do. So that's like a whole project right there is do a whole new um, AI. Oops. AI traffic pack get it all up to date and there's so many new skins I'd like to put some of the custom skins in oh, excuse me I'm going to be able to get around this guy looks like we got the power See you, Polly. Oh, I got the snowy moon all darkened up outside there, it looks like. at the uh, day cap windows it's weird I don't quite get it but um, oh boy hang on they're going a little faster here oh and a train cool good time to check this out oh we can't oh maybe it's hard to tell from this angle but the uh, 409 is lined up with the center light on the roof of the cab and in the center of the cab on the template but when you look at it here it's offset on the window see that you can see that the window looks to be set off to the right it's weird so the windows are those rear windows are weird sizes so if you're noticing that when you get the skin which will probably be later Monday. Right. I'm just pushing supper time here on Sunday. And I am to do some driving. To, I really meant to do some driving. And I think I'm going to. I'll see if uh, Zeke's around, if he wants to drive. So 
So the, the uh, cargo was soya beans. I wonder why we say, or I say, soya bean, and it's soybean. Hmm. How do you guys say soybean or soya bean? Because then it comes from soya sauce. Like we used to always, you'd see the little bottle of soya sauce. And, I use that stuff a lot when I'm cooking, and maybe that just translates over. Oh, here's another piece of news on this skin. Um, it's not radically different than the one that's out there. The one that I have out there works on the forward axle and the conventional, or the set forward axle. This one with the day cab, I can't get the day cab uh, mod skins. They don't work with the forward axle, so that's got to be a new, new deal, pretty much. Uh, so I'm, I didn't put it in. So with this mod, when it comes out, you just be aware it's going to be for the for forward axle truck only. Oh, I had it. Shoot. Turn left. Come on, turn off. So I think this trailer's only 45 feet long. There's a bunch of different axle configurations for it. And this is the heaviest duty configuration with two uh, dual wheel axles in one single and the single one don't know if it steers or not I wonder if we got enough angle on it here to tell I don't think it steers I know it's kind of hard to tell oh yeah maybe it does um, Let's see, see if it lifts. Trailer. Yeah, it's a lift axle. So uh, we got enough weight on here. We should probably keep it down. Probably try to stay on the road too. He's not gonna feel up to passing. Take his life in his hands. Well, I hope everybody had a good weekend. Oh darn. It's time for a scale. Didn't do any math on this thing. It's just trailers heavy. Hmm. Oh, I don't know. I think it's say 95,000 pounds. Just supposing the trailer's really heavy. And if the trailer isn't, well, <laughs> 92. I said 95 just... That was my initial. Got a lot of stuff going on on this trailer. Like, look at all that. The auger drive and, like, that auger and all the hydraulics to run that. I guess you'd need a wet tank on your truck to run this trailer. Let's find out what we got. Oh, only 85.9. Oh my god. The trailer's a lightweight. I better do the math again. You see, uh. No, that's a very light trailer. Huh. 
Maybe that's not calculated right. I don't think this trailer would be aluminum. It would probably be stainless. And uh, that's not the lightest thing in the world. Uh, I don't know. Excuse me there. Oh, man. Sorry. Snuck that right out on you. Yeah, a little very been intense today getting these skins. This is essentially did three skins today, which I, when I wasn't going to do any is kind of ridiculous. I got up fairly early to get started on it all. The only break I had was going out to get groceries. <laughs> oh, crapola. Well, no one else to blame but myself. Yeah, this little mod is good. Now, I didn't put out the poll questions. I'm going to have to do that. Uh, whether to replace the DROM add-on for the K100 and the HCT3 Convoy with this mod. And, uh, of course, it'd be some new skins, too. So, uh, I could ask the question fairly soon in a poll. And if I can get some skins done this week, there would be some skins that would go on the day cap. And it's not a big deal adding stick to skins for the day cap. Uh, the biggest thing that's required is to do a separate cab rear for the day cap. And uh, so the big difference on this one, don't know if we can see it, is yeah, the uh, script is horizontal across the back of the cab. And the, uh, with the uh, sleeper cap, the bigger cap, it's an arc. Like on the side of the uh, trailers, inside of the grain trailers. I might have to lighten this up, this uh, snowy moon, and see if we can do it without crashing. We gotta do it fast. There we go. You have no steering when you're in there doing that. Oh, I'm mean, right up here. Keep right after 15 yards. Exit right ahead. Exit right ahead. Is that full beans on the Jake? Yeah. Does this even have stages? Yeah. Oh, shoot. <laughs> Got to move the range. Ah, I'm doing that a lot lately. What's wrong with me? <clears throat> a cool looking riverbed there. This uh, skin wasn't so washed out on here. Oh, we gotta get over in that lane. Like if you could paint it, like you can paint the fuel tanks. Fuel tanks look great. But when I read, uh, like I say, I read his blurb on the tanks, and he mentioned specifically that on the bulk tank it's still glossy. And I don't really see that there's any. I don't get the point of having the mod in here. 
It, it doesn't seem to change anything. I checked the fuel tank trailer to make sure I had it right. Yeah, somebody was asking the color of this green. I got to uh, get that sorted out. Turn right. Trailer uh, well, corner pretty tight. Yeah, so this is the section I was talking about with all that slowing down and you no know, right turn, left turn, right turn, left turn. There's quite a few of them on this route. I think we're going to be out of it pretty soon. It's cool if you want to be here in the uh, engine under the uh, under load <laughs> bunch. Yeah, I had a good chat with uh, Meg again last night, and her and uh, Barb and Sire are all down there in Montreal getting Meg settled in at uh, university there. And um, yeah, I do get really, really liking the city. There's, uh, you know, a lot going on there. But uh, try to adjust to the humidity. <laughs> oh, and her dorm doesn't have air conditioning. Uh, yikes but the very hottest part of the, unless, I don't know if you, what happens if she decides to get a summer job there and work there next summer, which could stay in the residence or she have to get an apartment at that point? I don't know. But uh, yeah, it's like, I don't know what Montreal is. Is it two or three hundred feet above sea level? It's thirty-five hundred feet here where Meg grew up, so it's quite a difference. So the humidity is oppressive if you're not, you know, climatized. But yeah, it's pretty cool. So now the sun's out, now it's really bright. It's like you gotta jump into Snowy Moon and turn it down again. Hmm. I should like to know more about this lossless scaling. You know what that's all about. It's a cool little scene coming through here. Very cool. Wow, the chutes, oops, where are we looking here? Chutes right there off of those silos. That would be a neat place to be able to get a load right there beside the road.
tonight. I'd like to um, do so. Oh, I, I've mentioned this before, actually. I think that oh, oh, I thought they. I was overdoing that, hitting the brakes to go into a four lane. Dude, you're not learned by now. Too bright. Porch lights on, but nobody's home. Yeah, we've got time here. I think uh, take a quick peek at that uh, grain hopper. Show you what's going on there. And I got to see, I haven't checked to see if I got the front panel light lined up yet. And once again, it's going to be uh, Hell Creek hay and feed skin on it. handy trailer though it uh, it steers really really nicely but like I said I think it's only 45 feet so oh man excuse me and we gotta check here and see what's going on with the rear steer so what we'll do well one way we can find out how yes yeah, let's uh we'll do this we'll go drive in here and just do a circle and come back out and then we'll check the trailer and see if the rear is a steering. Yeah, steering. So it's the lift and steer. Pretty cool. So we'll just do one of these then. Not too hard on the rubber. I saw the uh, call them all. Matt was uh, did a little rundown on the situation with his truck and trailer and everything and. Just a little review of where it's at after having some maintenance done on it. Having weird problems with the injectors popping out. Uh, it's becoming loose, so it's really weird. They ended up loctiting the retaining bolts. <laughs> Crazy. So anyway, um, but on his trailer, he was pointing out how the, uh, the rear axle of the front trailer, so it's a tri, it's a Super B, so the front trailer has three axles and the rear one wears out really quickly from all of the you know the twisting with three axles and not having a steer I guess of course uh, sure hard on them so what he decided to do is just put some cheap tires on the back because he's going to be replacing them every year and a half which actually isn't that bad a year and a half on a set of tires like, But he's getting more on the other trailer tires, even more on the drivers on the truck. <laughs> uh, okay, so uh, there we are. We're offloaded. So in some lights, the trailer doesn't look too bad. In another lights, it's terrible. Now, what I did here, and I don't know how, what I'm going to do. I think I'm going to maybe leave it on the trailer. It's... Um, like a advanced skin and there's parts under there that are paintable like the the uh, suspension and everything for the trailer and landing gear and all that is paintable so I just winged it and just said okay make it this color of green and paint.net I might leave it there and just suggest that the color of the company it's green for now I don't know see how that goes but anyway let's check out the green trailer real quick 
I'm, I'm pretty anxious to see if I got the color right on it. Grain hopper. Let's look at this one. Or not the color, the front panel. Ah, shoot, I didn't. It's still off. I got the back pretty close. Oh, we got mud flaps now too. All right, I'm going to have to... Uh, I got work to do. Anyway, I'm going to do it on, on Monday. I'm Oh, that front, yeah, that's terrible. Shoot. But let's uh, confirm. Oh, I want to show you the back. So, put Hell Creek and feed like that on there, and then that became the mud flaps. So, I don't know, I might leave it like that. We'll see. So, with any luck, I'm going to be busy Monday morning out in the garage working away, but I will probably get to this in the afternoon and get it finished up, get it out to you guys. And the bulk feed. And the truck. So, it'll be a red letter day for you guys to have three new Hell Creek Hay and Feed skins. Hell Creek Hay and Feed. Yeah, oh, i got to fix the 406. Oh, darn it all. Oh, well, I guess I better get off get off my uh, moany old throne here and get to work. <laughs> uh, as always, guys, really appreciate you following along, and uh, take care. Bye for now.